Hi guys and welcome to the Marksman Hunter guide for changes and reworks in Battle for Azeroth. I've been really looking forward to show everyone what is this, this is like in Legion, in uh, Battle for Azeroth, because it's changed a lot from Legion. The whole vulnerable window is completely gone, completely reworked. So I really, really like it. So I never really liked the vulnerable, the vulnerable uh, like type the class played because especially as a raid leader, if I if my vulnerable window drops. I've just got to still keep spamming aim shots, but it's all been changed and everything's been a bit reworked, and I'll get into that. So I'll go through the single target talents first, then the AoE talents. So for single target, they've bring back Murder of Crows. It does it does a lot of DPS now, whereas Crows in Legion was just a bit meh. It didn't really do a lot of damage, and if you didn't if you didn't maximize targets dying, Murder of Crows wasn't that good. You've also got Max M Master Marksman. Aim shot has a 30% chance to reduce the focus of your next quick shot and multi shot. I just don't take that. Take that. I just take serrated shot because it just it causes the target to bleed, and I'm getting more use of that. That I'm getting more damage of that than Master Marksman and Murder of Crows, especially if I don't kill a target with Murder of Crows. So serrated shots definitely for single target. So for your next, they bring an explosive shot up, and it's the same as it was in Legion. I just don't like that because I don't like hit tapping the thing again. So I just take this. But yeah, so volley, which is kind of like it was in Legion, but now it's a passive. You don't have to keep enabling it, which was pretty annoying. But I just take careful aim. Aim shot has a 20% chance to deal 200% bonus damage to targets who are above 80% or below 20%. So that means in in, in a boss's 40% 40, 40 of the boss's health, your aim shot is doing 200% increased damage, which is just insane. If it procs. So it means one in every five aim shots you do are just going to do 200% increased damage. Which is just crazy. It's insane. And now camouflage has been moved up. And trailblazers are here as well. I take natural mending. Because it was one of the honor talents for marksman hunter. Which is every 20 focus you spend reduces the remaining cooldown and acceleration. I just think that's that's better. Just for all fights in general. Trailblazers you don't really ever get use out of it in PvE. And camouflage not really much use. Because you can't do it in combat obviously. So for your next talent tree, Hunter's Mark, it's back again. You apply Hunter's Mark to a target and you deal 5% increased damage. And you instantly gain 20 focus. Um, next, Steady Focus, using Steady Shot reduces the cast time of your next Steady Shots. But you can't use any other shot and it removes that effect, so it's just useless. Because you're going to be using Steady Shot as a filler spell. Just every now and then, and you're not, you're not going to use three, three of them in a row, because you're going to be using either Quick Shot or Rapid Fire in, in your intermissions. Next one, always, always, always post haste. Because you're going to be disengaging back, and that extra speed buff is just crazy, crazy good. So for your next sentry, double tap. It just makes sure... Um, it just enhances either your aim shot or your rapid fire. I don't really like taking it because it's another button to click, and if you don't tap it every minute, you just it's not going to be useful. Barrage, it's just as bad as it was in Legion after the rework. You don't really want to take that. So lethal shots. So steady shot has... 10% chance to cause your next aim shot or rapid fire to be guaranteed critical strikes, which is obviously just going to be huge, huge damage if it procs. Next, piercing shot, same as it was in Legion, 10k and 4k to all enemies. Um, lock and load, same as it was in Legion, 5% chance to trigger lock and load. And calling the shots. I do calling the shots because casting aim shot reduces the cooldown of true shot by 6 seconds, and everyone knows how OP true shot is. If you get that back up quicker, you're just going to do really, really, really well. So I'll just showcase the single target and show how the um, show how the class is working. Let me just take serrated shot on my bars. So I'm using that. So you just want to start off with the um, serrated shot so you can get it bleeding. And then you can use just start off with an aim shot as well. Start off the aim shot. See, I already got a proc, so now I can use quick shot. Quick shot's damage is increased. So now I can use true shot as well and use rapid fire. Just rapid fire, you can cast a move while you do this. So it's just big DPS and now you can use your aim shots again. Keep up serrated shots on the target and just big DPS. So you want to use aim shot and then a quick shot and then back onto steady shot. You don't really ever want to use quick shot unless you've um unless you've got a prop for it, like now. I'm gonna get a prop for it after every aim shot. If you can't cast it then, just make sure you're getting rapid fire on cooldown, using rapid fire on cooldown. Keep up serrated shots. Make sure you just want to make sure you're always using aim shot on cooldown, just all the time. Obviously, with not a lot of haste, you aren't going to see a lot of 
uh, damage being done. But when the haste goes up, like later on in the expansion, when everyone gets gear, it's going to be really, really good. So rapid fire, I'm going to be cast on moving rapid fire. So you now you just... But yeah, MM's looking really, really good. Especially because you can cast a move on like most of the classes. It's just really, really in a good spot again. You're just going to be a run and gunner. Just running around. Just messing around. Just smashing everything. Now rapid fire, which I think is probably one of the coolest spells they've put in. Just going to be shooting, shooting, shooting. Aim shot. And now I'm going to get a prop for quick shot. Use quick shot. Steady shot. Keep up serrated shots. And use my fresh aim shot. Then quick shot, quick shot, quick shot, rapid fire. So that's going to be hitting the target hard. I'm going to be loads, doing loads of DPS off that. Keep up serrated, it's going to drop. Keep that up. Use aim shot, and with that proc, I'm going to use quick shots. There we go. And now steady shot. And serrated. And that's basically it for the single target. It's looking really, really good. It's completely reworked. Which I really, really like. They put a lot of Too effort into away. it. Now I just dismiss my pet. And I'll do the good old... Change my talents, and I'll showcase the AOE ones. So if I just quickly break down, there we go. So, change my talents. So, for AOE, you want to take uh, Master of Crows. Because, obviously, when a target dies, you get up the next murder of crows. It's just really, really, really good. You next want to take Volley. So, your auto shots have a chance to call down the Volley and damage all the targets. It's quite, it's quite standard. Natural Mending again, because I get acceleration off cooldown quicker. Um, streamlines uh, good again. Rapid fire now lasts an additional two seconds, so I'm going to get even more shots off in my rapid fire. Next one, it's down to you, but post haste. You might want binding shots, you can stun ads, but meh. Next one you want to take is barrage, so it's going to be hitting all the targets. Double taps, just just a bit meh. Um, and piercing shot for AoE because lock and load's not going to be that good, especially that you haven't got the the talents you did in. In Legion, where your aim shots would hit all the targets. So this is just really, really good. So to start with, we're just going to call out our pet. Start off with a aim shot. Then start off with Murder of Crows. Use Quick Shot. Use Piercing Shot. And now use my red Rapid Fire. You want to use your aim shot again. And then once you've used it, do True Shot. So you have two charges back up of um, aim shot. As well, when your focus is low and you've got downtime, you just want to use Barrage. So use Barrage now. So it's hitting a lot of the targets. So it's really, really good. And as soon as Rapid Fire's off cooldown, you just smash into the target. And dump the focus you get from Rapid Fire into Aim Shot. So obviously, this is not really a good use of Murder of Crows because the ad isn't dying because it's a dummy. But it just if you can kill the target with that, it's just really, really good. So just hit target with Piercing. It's going to get hit hard. Use Steady Shot to get focus. And now Rapid Fire. Just hit the target loads and build up that focus. Aim Shot. Aim Shot. But yeah, this is, this is pretty pretty decent. I'm retarded, sorry. I'm just so retarded. I haven't been using Multi Shot. <sighs> I'm so stupid. So yeah, it's the, it's the alphas mess up, messes up your bars so much. And it's just so, so bad. But yeah. So when you've got multiple targets, obviously when you use multi shot, you're going to be hitting all the targets and just smashing them hard. So just use quick shot and multi shot all the time and barrage. So yeah, just big DPS into the ads. So a lot of it's changed. There's no vulnerable windows. You're not going to be using aim shot as much because it costs a lot of it costs a lot of focus and it takes a long time to cast, which you can be using on multi shots and rapid fire. So yeah, that's it for the uh, marksman hunter guide. It's been changed quite a lot and it's really really good. I like that a lot. But yeah. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.